Here's an equation we're being asked to solve for x, but it might look a little strange. We've got these fractions where the numerators have more than one term. So how do we deal with that? Well, whenever you have fractions like this in an algebraic equation that you need to solve, I would suggest trying to get rid of the fractions. And we've been doing that by multiplying by a number where the denominator, uh, both the denominators are factors. I've got a 5 and a 4 down here, so I think I'm going to multiply everything by 20. So this side of the equation gets multiplied by 20, and this side gets multiplied by 20. And let's take these pieces one at a time. So I've got x plus 3 over 5 multiplied by 20, and you know I'm going to write this 20 as 4 times 5. So we're multiplying that by 4 times 5. This way, I can see that the fives cancel out, and this whole thing just becomes 4 times x plus 3. So that's this chunk right here, 4 times x plus 3. Now we've got the next chunk, 3x plus 2 over 4. That's also being multiplied by 20. Again, I'm going to write that as 4 times 5 times 3x plus 2 over 4. And here, it's the 4's that cancel, so this becomes 5 times 3x plus 2. All right, and remember, we go all the way back. On this side of the equation, we've got 20 times 5, that's 100. Now, after we've gotten rid of the fractions, that's the first step. The second step, we've got some distribution to do. So we're going to distribute that 4 and that 5. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3x is 15x, and 5 times 2 is 10. And now we have some like terms to combine. We've got 4x and 15x, so that's 19x, and 12 and 10 is 22. Now, the next step is to get the x term alone, so I'm going to subtract 22 from both sides. So that's going to give us 78 over here, and 19x over here. And now the last step, 19 is multiplied by x. We want to undo that by dividing by 19. Here the 19's cancel, and we get x equals 78 over 19. And I think that's probably the lowest possible terms because 19 is a prime number here, and 78's not a multiple of 19.